This video will show you how to import content and other components from your existing modules to your new module shells before each new academic year or semester. The My Modules widget on your Brightspace homepage features a separate tab for each academic year, with the year also added as a suffix to each module title. On the My Modules widget, the modules in the most recent tab are the only ones that you can use with your students this year. Before you can begin the process of copying content from one module to another, you'll need the following information. Firstly, identify your source module. This is the module that you would like to import content from. You should be able to find your module from the tab for a prior academic year or from the All Courses page. Next, Open your source module and locate the module code by clicking on Module Tools and Module Admin before selecting Module Information. It's advised to directly copy this code so that you can paste it in the next step of this process. Next, you'll need to identify your target module, which is the module that you want to import content into. The modules that you're enrolled on for the current academic year or semester will be available from the My Modules widget or the All Courses page. If one of your modules isn't accessible to you, this is likely due to a discrepancy in Banner and you may need to be enrolled manually. To do so, please contact City Campus IT Support. To ensure that you have the correct target module, please check its module code. You'll find this under Module Tools, Module Admin and Module Information. In order to ensure that you've selected the correct module, check that this field contains its module code, CRN number, and program code. If you don't know your CRN number, you should be able to find this on your timetable, or you can request it from your head of school or local administrator. Once you've opened your target module, click on Content and select Table of Contents. From here, click on the Import Module button and select Copy Existing Module from the drop down menu. This will take you to the Import, Export, Copy Components tool. This tool can also be accessed by navigating to Module Tools, Module Admin, and selecting Import, Export, Copy Components. If you'd like to practice this process without affecting your current modules, you can do this using your personal Sandbox module, which you can find in the Sandbox tab. On the Import, Export, Copy Components page, leave the option Copy Components from another org unit selected and click on the button that says Search for Offering. This will open a pop-up menu from where you'll search for the source module you wish to copy content from. Simply paste the module code that you copied earlier into this search box. Select the radio button next to the source module you'd like to import from and click on Add Selected. This will return you to the Import Export Copy Components page where you'll see the selected module displayed under the heading Module to Copy. If this is incorrect, simply click on the X next to the module and search for your offering again. You now have two options. Click on the blue Copy All Components button to import all of your source module's content, or choose Select Components and decide what to import and what to exclude from a provided list. If you choose option one, Copy All Components, your import package will be queued and a progress bar will appear on the right-hand side of the page. When the job is finished, this bar will be replaced with a copy completed message accompanied by the date and time and a green tick. Please note, if you choose this first option, you'll likely have to spend some time deleting and editing components, such as announcements and discussion topics, and offsetting dates to make them relevant to the current academic year. If you choose option two, select components, you'll be taken to the choose components to copy page where you'll be presented with a list of component types 
such as content, module files, discussions, assignments, and announcements. From here, you can use the tick boxes to select components that you'd like to import into your target module. In this example, we've chosen to import content and assignments. For each component type, you can copy all items, or if you tick select individual items to copy, you can choose specific items to include and exclude from your import. Once all of your selections are made, click continue. You'll then be asked to confirm the components that you'd like to copy into your target module. The offset dates option allows you to bulk modify the start, end and due dates on your imported components for the new academic year. For example, dates for content release, assignment submission deadlines, dates for announcements, quizzes, or discussion forums. These can also be manually edited later on, either within individual module components or in bulk by navigating to module tools, module admin, and manage dates in your target module. If you previously clicked the select individual items option for any component, you'll also be presented with a list of items to include and exclude for each. In this case, for module content, you're offered a list of units and topics to choose from. When you're happy with your selections, click on the blue finish button. You can also modify individual components or use the go back button to return to a previous page. Your import package will be queued and a progress bar will appear on the right hand side of the page. When the job is finished, this bar will be replaced with a copy completed message accompanied by the date and time and a green tick. If you accidentally omit any important component during this process, you can repeat these steps as many times as you like. You can use the buttons on the bottom of this page to quickly copy another package, review your module content, or review and manage your module dates.